Sorry guys. <laughs> I'm back. I'm so sorry. Uh, there's this uh, advertising popping up here and uh, I didn't want to have that. Okay, so now it's gone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm back. Panic. Panic. Okay, just hang on. <laughs> What a day, what a day, what a day. Okay, thank you for being patient with me. All this technique, I'm a little overwhelmed. Thank you for coming back. Um, my name is um, Angela Bailey uh, and uh, I am the owner and creative energy of Elton Helden and I am very happy to be here on the Dixie Bell page tonight. Um, well, I'm saying tonight over here in Europe in Frankfurt it is uh, already 9 uh, p.m. So um, this is uh, for me like almost bedtime <laughs> and for you it's probably just in the afternoon. So when you pop in just uh, let me know where you're watching from and um, oh hi Dixie Bell, thank you for having me on your page. Sorry for messing it just up. Um, was just I just pressed the wrong button so I'm back now so guys um, as I said um, when you pop in just let me know where you're watching from and even when you watch uh, replay please put in the comments where you're watching from I'll put uh, replay in I would uh, love to see that and uh, let me know uh, where you're from maybe some of you are from uh, Germany or Europe also I am from Frankfurt here in Germany and um, well, I'm happy to work with you tonight on this um, little um, buffet. And um, hi, AJ. Thank you for popping in. Oh, there are some of the stars watching me, so I'm getting a little nervous again. Um, so, um, hi, Connie. Um, so, anyhow. Um, this afternoon I already did uh, a live in German on my page uh, introducing the product bus because this piece I'm um, painting tonight is uh, an absolute bleeder so I thought this, this is a good chance to introduce that product to the European and the, the German market. So I've done it live in German. I'm not gonna go over it uh, during this live tonight because um, I think uh, Brandy Kollenborn from Brush by Brandy has just done a live about uh, Boss. So if you wanna know about their product, uh, just go over to her page and uh, you can um, watch that. Um, hi Fiorella, hi to, to Italy. Um, thank you guys for popping in and thank you for watching me and um, yeah, what I've planned tonight, this is like an old, very old oak um, buffet. And uh, as I said, it's like a total bleeder. I cleaned it up yesterday. Um, and um, I really scrubbed it down and there was like still like red coming out of the, the wood. So I've prepared it already with uh, boss and I'm planning tonight to put some um, blues on there because uh, blue makes you happy, makes me happy. So I'm I want to work with that, and therefore I've chosen tonight. I'm just gonna get it down, and uh, we're going to do a little bit of blending. This is going to be the first coat tonight, and uh, I'm basically deciding um, if the, those are going to be the colors uh, which I want to go with. Um, as you know, the first coat, you make up your mind if that's the right um, colors you want to use. And if you don't like it, it's only paint, you paint over it. So that's what I've decided to do. And the blues I'm going to use is firstly um, Bunker Hill Blue from um, Dixie Bell, which is a nice bright blue, but it's not too bright. And then we are going to use the uh, Pure Ocean which is this, which is a beautiful like turquoise. It's actually a Florida color. Hi to Florida, Diane. <laughs> and uh, to brighten it a little up, I'm going to use Haint Blue, which is like a very, very pale light blue. And um, hi, Alison. Hi, Bonnie. Thank you for watching me. <laughs> so 
So, for those who haven't worked with um, Dixieville paints before, they are chalk mineral paints and they are very environmental friendly. They are very easy to use and um, they hardly smell, they're VOC free and uh, really great products to work with. For each color, I'm going to use one brush. My favorite brush is uh, the Dixie Bell Mini from um, yeah from Dixie Bell obviously. It's got a nice short handle, and I really love working with it. I've got two of those, and I've got one angle because I don't have three minis at the moment, so I'm using gonna use the angle also. And I am having also the over medium from Dixie Bell, which is going to be my neutral brush to blend the colors into each other later on. So those are the brushes I'm using and I've got my mister bottle to um, keep the paint damp and moving and I've got some baby wipes uh, because I'm a messy painter and um, well you see in about two minutes I'll be covered all over in paint. So again, when you pop in, just let me know where you're watching from. And if you have any questions, yeah, you can leave them in the comments also. Uh, you can leave them either in English or in German. And uh, yeah, I will probably uh, won't uh, answer them during this live because I'm too nervous. Maybe Dixie Bell, you can help me out with that. And uh, i definitely come back in later and answer your questions. So thank you for watching. Okay, I also got... Uh, because I want to do, you can see those um, those ornaments on there. I want to have a bit of uh, color peeking through later on. So this is the first I'm going to do. I'm going to use some uh, barn red and uh, colonel mustard because I want to have that pop through, peek through like a little bit at the end. So I'm going to do that first. I'm going to use some artist brushes and uh, going to get just into those details and um, just like the easiest opening of the first so I'm gonna just use some artist brushes for that and you can do that afterwards I like to do those things uh, sometimes uh, beforehand also because um, you can well, it's a bit, uh, yeah, if you do some bed distressing or something like that, you can um, reveal those colors underneath also. So we see where we go with this piece. So I just want to go into this uh, crevices, just right into there. And I'm actually going to do that on the other side straight away also. And it's like you know it's like everybody's got like his own painting style or his own way of doing certain things there's there's always loads of ways to to achieve maybe one finish and everybody's got his own his own little way to do that so um so i'm not saying what i'm doing is like the only and the perfect way but it's the way I like to do it. And sometimes, like I change in between my mind and do something else. I think um, by now, I notice that a lot of artists are doing that. Come in with some barn red. Because I don't want to have it just with the blues. I want to have like some of those colors coming through also. We do, and this is also the nice thing about those um, chalk mineral paints from Dixie Bell. They dry really, really fast. So when you put that on, you can just. Um, I'm just going to use a heat gun in a minute. Um, it uh, dries really, really quick, and you can just like carry on with your with your project. So the weather over here is just a nightmare at the moment. So we had uh, we 
had thunderstorm today. We had like really heavy storms like the last two days. Um, and it was raining, it was bright sunshine, it was, uh, we had hail, we had snow, we just had everything today. So it was pretty, so that's it, finished. <laughs> Not quite, I'm just gonna get my gut, hang on. Sorry. And I'm just gonna try that quickly before I get off. <laughs> It looks like uh, ketchup and mustard, doesn't it? <laughs> so, just try it First, the better where you where you at? Um, I am in Frankfurt, in Germany, which is right in the middle of Germany. Where are you from, Kim? Yes, that piece of furniture is beautiful, isn't it? There's quite a story to it. I've seen it in the um, um, like online, basically one of those flea market things um, to be picked up. So I messaged my sweetheart when he comes up on the weekend. He's got to bring his uh, trailer so we can pick it up. And uh, what I didn't realize. A piece of furniture was uh, in a house it's like one of those very old um, buildings in um, in Germany or in Frankfurt also and um, they have really high ceilings about three meter high ceilings and this piece was on the third basically on the third level we had to pick that up so there was um, quite a bit carrying that down the stairs my sweetheart he still hates me for that and I still don't know how I got that thing down the stairs. I can't tell you. It's probably just because I didn't want to give it up. It's like one of those little dogs just like biting into it like I'm having that. So now we're going to get in. It's like almost dry. And I want to have um, the darker shades outside. I'm basically, I'm going to paint over the, the hardware. I'm not going to change the hardware. Um... I think it's quite cute. It's got like those uh, keyholes. Um, hi Dana, thank you for watching. Hello to Italy. Um, hi Harriette, thanks for watching. Um, it's got like those, I mean this is, um, there's actually a real key to it, which unfortunately I haven't, but mostly with those pieces you can find a key which is just matching it. And uh, it's got also like in the drawers and stuff like that. And it's really built in, so it's not easy to take out. So I decided to paint over it. So and the first color I'm going with is the Pure Ocean, which is my middle color. And I'm just going to use the paint out of the lid first because there's always quite a bit paint in the lid and you don't need to waste that just use that first and don't have it too heavy and this piece i'm mean, going to do some blending but um, it is a bit of a rough piece anyway you can see um it's like this um, this uh, crack going through it's like on both sides actually and um, it's pretty, pretty textured. So we're going to do some, some blending, but also we're going to, to enhance some of those um, cracks and crevices. So it's, at the end, it's going to be a rustic piece. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to put uh, a transfer on there. So what do you think? Transfer also? Hi to Portugal, thanks for watching. <laughs> gone from your screen. Uh, it's gone from my screen. Can everybody else watch, uh, see? I'm sorry, can everybody else see what I'm doing? Somebody said um, that they can't see anymore. Is that all right? All right. Can you see? So if somebody can't see anymore, sometimes it helps if you just um, 
go out and uh, come back in. So this is the first color I'm going to put down. You can see the nice coverage. I mean, this is a pretty dark piece. As I said, I put some boss on there this afternoon because there is a real heavy bleeder that that piece. And um, now we see how we go. Don't actually mind if there's some of these other colors coming through here. So that's number one. I'm gonna come in with uh, bunker hole blue on the outside and also in the middle. Shake up those paints really nicely. And so it's nicely mixed up. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous blue. I just love that blue. That's so pretty, isn't it? So another mini. I don't dampen the brush because they're still damp. I just washed them earlier. I'm not a very good brush keeper, so I had to clean that before I started. So, I'm gonna go over here. This is, guys, this is uh, just the first coat today. The first coat is not going to be perfect at all. This is for me to see where I'm going with the piece and uh, if I really do like the colors, but I think I do like them, yes. Um, if I really do like the colors and um, get like an idea in which direction this is going to go. So, just put that down. I'm still using the paint out of the lid. Can you see what I'm doing actually? It's, um, I'm not. I'm still pretty new to those live videos, so I'm um, just use my left hand for now. It's probably better for you to see this. Do it this way. Paint yourself. Just let me know. And uh, also let me know what's your favorite color. Do you have a favorite color with them? Are you more into the nudes or are you more into colors? I sometimes can't decide if I'm going to nude or if I'm going to color. It's, uh, at the moment, I really prefer colors. I mean, the winter is so, so dark. So now I'm gonna go into the um, pure ocean a little bit. Can I miss the bottle? Paint my there. Keep the paint nice and uh, damp to keep it moving because I now I want to blend those a little bit together. As I said, this is a pretty rustic piece so going to be at the end a mixture of um, of blending and enhancing some of those um, some of those rough details of the piece so I'm gonna go right into the pure ocean now and I'm also going to put some Bunker Hill Blue over the middle now. This is what I'm planning to do. About 
this, around this um, medallion. So we're gonna come back with the, just keep the brushes always nice and damp. The first um, coat is always looking, like in my eyes, I always think that looks horrible. But at the end, trust me, it's going to be nice. Whoever has done that before knows that the first coat, when you put down the colors, it is first a bit of a nightmare. And you think, oh my goodness, what is happening here? But at the end, it's, most of the time, <laughs> it's going to be nice. because I'm going to have the blue around there also. So, hang on, I need a cloth to clean the brush in between a little bit because I don't want to contaminate um, too much. But you can already see where it's slowly getting. I'm going to have a bit more of the Bunker Hill Blue of the Dark Blue on the outside here. And guys, you can go basically go back and forth how often you want to do that. Just keep your paint moist, nice and damp, and you can take your time as you're blending until you've got a stage where you're happy with it. More of the blue. Pure ocean. So. I think I'm going to leave the... I don't want to have some hate blue in here. I quite like it like that. What do you think? A lighter color to that? No, I think that's fine like this. And uh, then um, when you, yeah, basically when you have it to a stage where you quite like it, you take um, a dry brush, which is basically the neutral brush, and this is going to, yeah, it's almost like, uh, like an eraser. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then you just go lightly over it and you blend them all together like this. Grab your rag, clean your brush in between Emotions. It's basically up to you. And always clean your brush in between so that it's um, that it's nice and dry and there's not too much color on there. I thought 
the can you see the common mustard and the the barn red uh, peeking through there? That's basically what I wanted to achieve. I'm just gonna go around here now to blend the. This is not going to be perfect. This is uh, at the end. Um, I want to see if I'm really going to stick with those colors uh, and what they look together. So um, know your life, Dana. Your life, Dana. Thank you. Thank you for popping in. Hi there. So again, um, when you pop in, just let me know where you're watching from and uh, just. Uh, I am from Frankfurt in Germany, and uh, my shop, I'm a primary retailer for Dixiebel also, uh, over here in uh, Germany. And uh, if you haven't done that yet, uh, please pop over to my page and uh, leave a like for me, so that you don't miss any of my projects. I really appreciate that. And uh, if you want to, I'd be happy also if you distribute this, um, this live. So what do you think about those colors? Do you like them? I see some hearts. I see UK. That's good. So I think that's what we are going to, to go for. Let's go over to the, the other door. Do that quickly. I'm going to leave the hand glue out there. I don't think I want to have the in, in there. Um, quite like it with the dark colors. And um, I always. I always start with my um, either middle color or lighter color. And I'm just going to put that down. And on this side also there is like one of this um, yeah, like crack going through. So this is like uh, going to be also a little rustic, not only like smooth and blended. And there's going to be some like different uh, characters to it basically. That's what the plan is. And uh, you can um, always, or oh, I prefer to start with um, a thin coat of paint, but you can see, you know, the great coverage of those uh, chalk mineral paints from Dixie Bell, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, you really don't need much paint to, to get this coverage, you can see that. And now I'm gonna come back in with my, um, with my Bunker Hill Blue, which is the nice, a nice, Darker but not too dark blue. Damp. I'm always working with my Mr. Buffle. And um, you can also get that from Dixie Bell. It is, um, you can see, it's just like a very, very fine mist. And depending on the project you're doing, if you want to have like heavy drips, you can use a normal, um, a normal water spray a bottle but if you want to have uh, like a fine mist and no drips and stuff like that this is perfect just like to dampen your paint and to get it moving so. and um, basically what I've done to that piece before obviously I've cleaned it really really well over here in Germany, we don't have uh, white lightning, so we have to help ourselves with uh, other things. But while cleaning it, um, I realized that this is um, a very heavy bleeder. And it also had um, was a bit smelly. It was um, out of a yeah, smoker household. I don't know how you actually say it correctly in English. 
You may correct me. Um, I'm always happy when we, somebody helps me finding the right words. So I've busted this clear boss um, also from the inside and the outside. So, oh, thank you, Dixie Bell. Those are Florida colors, aren't they? The nice blues. I said that before, that's for me probably also why oh, it is. <laughs> Another reason I love those Dixie Bell colors so much because a lot of their paint colors got to do with um, ocean and uh, water and beach and uh, sea. <laughs> so apart from that, them being really, really nice colors to work with, with great coverage and uh, I think so environmental friendly. This is so uh, you can use them indoors and uh, I've got hardly any smell to them, which is really, really nice. As I said, I'm painting over the hardware. And I think it's like quite cute with those um, keyholes in there. And there's actually over there is a real lock. And uh, on this side here is not. So I think that's quite cute. I quite like that. So, yes. That's right, Mediterranean colors, yes. Uh, mm. Also. So. That's it. And over the middle here. medallion and uh, now I'm gonna come back in with my pure ocean The main thing is when you blending the colors together is like keep your paint uh, moist and also with blending there is um, quite a few ways doing it you can do it in sections I always oh, I like doing it um, like in the big piece like on the on the hole so Just go back and forth until you got a stage where you like it. That's it. Gonna come back with a bit of the and when you reach the stage where you're pretty happy with it. You come in with your eraser brush and you just start erasing. I think I have a little, just a little more dark around. A lot dark around here. Just go back and forth until you like it. And as I said, this is only the first coat today. It's going to be a second coat. And the second coat is going to be then, like obviously a bit more perfect than this one. This is basically just seeing where you wanna, or where I wanna go with that piece. the stage where you like it you just come back with your eraser brush which is just like um, 
it's just like uh, are you welcome you're welcome thank you thank you for watching <laughs> Um, this is basically a dry brush. It's got, I mean, it looks a little blue by now, but um, it is, uh, it's got no paint on it because I keep cleaning it in between. It's a dry brush and I'm just like going over it very lightly, not uh, heavy handed, just very lightly and um, erasing those transition areas. And you can see, well, I hope you can see. <laughs> how those um, lines just disappear. And <clears throat> on the video, oh, excuse me, on the video, um, it looks much more, um, yeah, blobby than it is actually here. I mean, it's pretty much uh, blended here. And then the piece is basically finished at the end uh, with the photographs taken, you see, you see what I mean. This is, um, on the videos mostly like um, you see more more shades of the paint than um, they really are you can go in swirly motions also if you want to depending how far you want to go and just keep cleaning your brush in between just um, it's nice and dry and it's um, bringing the colors together. Up and down, back and forth. So, and that's what we are going for today. And then I'm still going to decide if I'm going to put on the sides, because it's a pretty big piece, on the sides some transfers or what do you think we should put on the sides? Or should we put some stripes on the sides? Just let me know what you think. What shall we do on the sides? Some stripes or a transfer? Just put it in the comments what you want to see. If you want to have it also blended, just let me know. Let us work together on that piece. So, guys, that's um, I think that's it uh, for today. You see where it is going, and uh, yes, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. The colors really, really go well together. And um, yeah, I love those blues all together. And um, okay, Th today is the first coat. We're going to decide if we're going to keep it like that. I think I am because I like the colors together. And um, hallo aus Deutschland, sehe ich gerade. Ja, dann uh, geh rüber auf meine Seite und um, lass mir ein Like da, dann verpasst du keine von den Projekten mehr. Ich mache ganz viel und äh, ja, da kannst du auch viel lernen. Mhm. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching today. Dixiebel, thank you so much for having me on your page and sorry for the confusion at the at the start. Um, just just put in the comments what you think we shall do in the sides. Don't forget that. Um, I'll check that out later, what you want to see, if you want to have stripes or if you want to have uh, it blended like this, if you want to have a transfer. Um, just uh, put it down or some stenciling. We'll see. Um, thank you so, far, so much for popping in. Uh, as I said, my name is Angela Bailey and I am the owner and creative energy of Elfen und Helden over here in Frankfurt in Germany. I am a Dixiebel Premier Retailer for Dixiebel. If you want to buy the products, just check out the Dixiebel page and check for your local retailer. If you haven't got a retailer, uh, a local retailer over here in Germany or in Europe, I'll be happy to help you. Um, I ship throughout Europe, so just uh, shoot me a, co um, a message and um, I'll be happy to help you out and uh, I'll be also happy to see you next week same time nine o'clock on Tuesday night and I say thank you very much Dixie Bell for having me here and uh, I'm wishing you 
a great afternoon and uh, Europe, um, yeah, a good night then. So thank you. Bye-bye.